Allen. I love your quiet strength and your vulnerability, your silliness and your practicality, your rough edges and your soft center. I love the way you make me feel safe and loved unconditionally. <laughs> Kerry, I love your sense of adventure and your up for anythingness. Your generosity and the songs and dances about anything that comes to your head. I love the way you cry at anything on TV, happy or sad. I will always stand in front of you at gigs because I know that I'm the perfect height for you to lean on. And I hope that even in our 80s, we'll be willing to queue five hours to get on the front row. And I will always love, comfort, and trust you with my whole heart. Because your heart is one of the most precious things that life has given me. And I will never take it for granted. I will always make your spot on my shoulder available. Meet you at the station when you've been away. Make your hot water bottles. Carry all the boxes of your books whenever we move because you can't throw any out. And I will always share dessert with you because I know you wouldn't eat a whole one on your own. I'll do everything in my power to make you feel safe and happy for the rest of my life. Well, I never thought I would be in this position, Mother of the Bride. I always said Kelly was bound for a crazy cat lady life. <laughs> Probably knitting blankets for the homeless, reading poetry, because she would never find anyone crazy enough to take her on. Who would have thought that she would grow into such an elegant, sophisticated and poised young lady? Oh wait. <laughs> Joking aside though, I would never have believed that that special little girl would grow up to be the beautiful, kind and thoughtful young lady that is here today as a bride. And I am so proud to call her my daughter. Then along came Alan. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, I'm Gareth, uh, and I've known Alan since we were about 15 years old. I've liked him for almost as long. Uh, the simple fact is I don't have wild stories of us from lads on tour or wildly debauched nights because we were never those lads. What I have, what I like to think we both have, are better memories than that. That said, it's fair to say we've been friends for so long that I can't remember which one of us is the bad influence. <laughs> And it's only when you get a few more miles on the clock that you realise how rare, how fleeting and how precious these moments are. A wiser man than me once said, time is not a given, it is a gift. And Alan, I know I speak for Kerry and myself when I say that every day we've known you has been a gift that has enriched our lives more than we could ever have imagined. Well, good afternoon, everyone and welcome to Tindur on this very special day for Alan and Ken. Thank you so much for being here with us today. I know it means a great deal to Alan and Kerry that you can be here to share in their happiness today and that so many of you have travelled a huge distance to be here. Marriage symbolises a commitment to love care for and support each other through all the joys and sorrows of life. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my commitment. As a symbol of my commitment to you. And of my everlasting love. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my commitment to you. As a symbol of my commitment to you. And of my everlasting love. And of my everlasting love. Oh, 
Alan and Kerry. It now gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations. <laughs> everything that you've done for me. Since I was a little girl, I have wanted for nothing. You have always, always put me first, encouraged me, supported me, and been there for me for all the ups, and most importantly, all of the downs. You are one of the most strongest and most resilient women I have ever known, with the biggest and most generous heart. Last but not least, Al. You made me feel like the most beautiful girl in the world. You love me unconditionally, and you inspire me every day to be a better person. I love you so much, and I'm so proud to call you my husband. And I'm so excited to go on this next adventure with you. so lucky to have met someone who just gets me, who makes me laugh every single day since I first saw her dancing in front of a microwave. Um, but for the moment I will say this, I'm glad you finally made your mind up about your hair, your makeup, your accessories and your dress, because you look absolutely beautiful. All that's left for me to say is to welcome Alan into our strange but wonderful family. I hope you will all join me in wishing Kerry and Alan a long and happy life together.